Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. Uh, we got another package in today. This was another request by actually a previous uh, company that requested we do uh, some uh, reviews for them. This is from the TWOD company. Uh, that's T-W-O-D on Amazon. And uh, this time they asked us to do a review on their softback gun case. Now I do apologize, we can't quite get uh, the screen expanded out far enough. We don't quite have the room around here. So uh, so just kind of bear with me on this part of it and uh, we'll get this undone. Now when I did get this, it did come in a brown box. It does have the uh, T-Watt sticker on it and it was folded in half. I went ahead and let it sit out overnight and let it flatten out and everything. Uh, of course it is just a soft bag so having it folded in half does not hurt anything. All right, so here we go. Uh, as you can see, it is a black canvas bag. It is a uh, about a medium density canvas is what it seems to be. It's not super heavy, quite like military spec, uh, just a little bit lighter than that. Uh, now, it does have a couple of, uh, a handful of pockets, of course, for your magazines. Uh, it does have a large pocket up front here, and then it unzips down here at the bottom uh, to open up for uh, whatever... Uh, rifle or long gun that you uh, wish to put in it. Now this is uh, when it's on the uh, Amazon site they do state that this is for a, uh, a scoped rifle uh, so of course and I'm sure that's what most people would probably use this for uh, but uh, anyhow as you can see we do have uh, four pockets full-size pockets here this is actually big enough you could probably store uh, two of the 30 round magazines uh, inside there and be able to close it no problem so you could actually probably put about eight magazines uh, inside of this uh, just in these four pockets right here they are uh, uh, you know it's definitely a nice thing I, I I'm only just seeing some of these with the pockets on the side usually I always saw them as just a plain bag and there were no pockets no anything so uh, this is a nice a nice kind of feature to it uh, I did look around on the Amazon site as well, and uh, there are some that have pockets and everything, uh, a few of them here and there. Uh, some of them uh, have big, large pockets, and you get into a much bigger bag and everything like that, and it's definitely much more of like a, uh, a range bag uh, where you have uh, room for all of your different equipment with all these separate pockets. Um, this one's a little bit kind of an in-between model. Uh, it's it's not the real basic one for just your just your uh, rifle or long gun. It is uh, not, of course, a full out blown out range bag that's got tons of pockets on it. It's got something right around in the middle, and uh, so that makes it kind of nice. Now it does come with a shoulder strap here, and of course this is the standard webbing uh, shoulder strap. It has uh, these are uh, plastic clips here uh, with a well. It almost, I'm, I'm wondering if that's almost metal reinforced inside the uh, spring clip part of it there, because that's pretty strong right there. Uh, but it is a uh, plastic hook, and it does have a shoulder pad. The shoulder pad has some reasonable padding on it too, so it should uh, alleviate any of that uh, stretch and tension that you get when you're carrying around uh, maybe a, a heavier uh, a heavier bag. All right, and then this is the, uh, of course, the overall uh, large pocket they have, and it is, it does go from here to here. It is actually open right here, uh, even though there's a stitch right here to kind of stop where the zipper goes. So the zipper zips from there to there, but then you've got a smaller section right here. I think this smaller section uh, definitely could be good for uh, simple things like if you're doing marking or anything like that, and you have uh, pens or, or or markers or anything like that with you, it could definitely be set in here and uh, kind of use like a shirt pocket and you clip on the clip on the edge of it here and keep something in or of course you can put any other things in there maybe um, some documents or things like that uh, but just remind just to let you know I mean they don't have a separator actually inside the pocket here uh, so so of course if things get shifted around it may shift up into the front area so but uh, definitely nice uh, good to have that extra storage space on here to uh, to keep your things. Uh, now we've got the uh, the clips here on the top. And you can see there is the uh, it's just a round hole with the kind of the standard triangular uh, type uh, 
clip or mount or whatever and then it does have the uh, the webbing there to uh, mount it to the bag and that is on the front and here on the back hand side they're both pretty much exactly the same uh, same style clip with the webbing and everything like that uh, on the back there's nothing really uh, amazing here it's just uh, the hand straps now the hand straps do have the velcro section here to hold it together and of course putting that together like that makes it nicer it, it alleviates a little bit of stress on the hand from having to kind of squeeze them together to keep them into one unit as well as it adds just a, a minute amount of uh, of padding and everything on your hand when you're carrying it that way uh, of course the straps uh, do come down all the way down the sides so that they are uh, secure uh, you can see they actually do go underneath the pockets and everything so they come down all the way uh, on the other side as well so let's go ahead and unzip this and uh, and uh, check out kind of what's in what the padding and everything and what the inside looks like now uh, this one I notice it does have a double double zipper which is pretty common pretty standard and straightforward for most of these so uh, of course you can zip it together you can of course put a simple little maybe um, small lock on it if you wanted just to try and deter anybody from getting into it uh, you know maybe some children or whatever now this has uh, the kind of the standard egg crate packaging here now it, it's not attached to the inside so this is a removable insert uh, which actually can be nice, I believe, because, uh, you know, if it gets damaged or anything or beat up or tore up after a while of use, you could take this out and uh, just put in a new one. Now, this is the uh, kind of the lower, the lower sized foam. It looks like it's about half inch thick, roughly, uh, as you can kind of see there. So it offers some uh, reasonable padding. And it, of course, is cut out. Basically, it kind of has a bullet shape to it, if you if you really kind of think about it. There, you've got the straight back end, and then it's rounded up at the nose. And then, of course, that's what the uh, the whole thing kind of looks like when it's opened up. So, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now, uh, I do have a rifle here that uh, we'll go ahead and lay it inside and just kind of see what it looks like and everything inside the bag. Uh, went ahead and grabbed grab this one right here now this is uh this is a uh m16 uh of course it is a 223 model uh and uh this fits inside the bag here just fine it fits actually that's on that's a perfect size for this uh you can see right here it lays it lays perfectly down um you've got your long straight section and of course your handle coming down where it curves down into the into the uh, other area here and so it works very well uh, in that aspect it it fits it fits perfectly really and uh, so there we go there it does it does lay very nicely there and then all we have to do is flip it over and uh, then we can go ahead and zip it up so, and I won't go ahead and zip it all the way up. There's no reason to because we will be putting this one back away. And uh, this will get used for something else in the future. Um, uh, that one already has its own case. Uh, this one will get used with uh, another another rifle or long gun uh, that, uh, that uh, we should have here coming up. But uh, looks like, honestly, this seems to be pretty good quality. Like I said, it is it is not the lightweight canvas. It's not the super heavy um, stuff, maybe necessarily that some of the military stuff is made out of. But uh, it's not far off, honestly. Now I will say it is a little bit smoother um, in feel than uh, some of the canvas stuff. Some of the canvas is very scratchy and everything, and very very uh, coarse. And this is um, a bit smoother than that, but it still seems to have a uh, a good bit of durability to it. Uh, in terms of you know the quality of the material so anyhow um, honestly this is pretty straightforward uh, review guys uh, there's not a whole lot more to it, it it's it's a uh, you know a rifle long gun bag uh, definitely built for something with a, a scope on it has that extra length uh, you know top to bottom to uh, to give you that room for a scope that might be mounted on the top of course this one has the handle that kind of represents that and um, you know it it seems to be a pretty good one uh, I I definitely would enjoy this one um, 
you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up being the one that ends up using it or if it's going to be one of the rest of us. Uh, but uh, I would definitely say this is this is a good quality uh, good quality bag. Now, uh, when I did look on Amazon, this is in around the mid to lower price range um, compared to other bags. And I sat there and compared it, searched kind of through all the suggestions and stuff for for bags and bags that are built like this and are in this kind of basic uh, uh, I want to say cost range um, this one does actually come up and it does have a little bit but I think it has a better cost for the features that are offered the fact that it does have the extra compartments for um, your magazines and the extra compartment up front for whatever else you want to stow in there uh, maybe you know like I said maybe some paperwork or some uh, some markings of course you're you could always uh, have your folded up um, folded up targets and everything like that uh, slid in there. I, I believe they would fit in there very easily. I know some of the ones that I have would fit in there uh, without any problems. So that's a nice thing to have where you can have those kind of, you have your ammunition and, and, and your, uh, and your uh, cartridges and everything right there as well as having your actual targets along with the long gun or uh, rifle that you're using. So uh, definitely a nice a nice setup, a nice feature. It does seem to be at a very uh, affordable cost range for something that is made uh, like this with this design and this kind of quality. Um, I will say in the only negative thing that I'm probably really going to say to it, and I do like the fact that this is removable, but it would be nice if it was kind of a little more captive so that it didn't come completely off of the section here. Um, but that's really not much of a a deterrent to me uh, maybe it is to you I, I I don't know but I really myself I don't see that as being much of a deterrent uh, I, I do like the fact that I can change this out at a later date if I need to yeah I mean I think uh, I think that's gonna really cover it guys uh, this is a pretty nice buy I would definitely say you know if if uh, somebody asked me I would say yeah go ahead check it out take a look at it on Amazon and everything uh, if you want to see the pictures take a look at the video and everything and see what it looks like when you open it up and and move it around compared to an actual uh, rifle or anything like that all right guys well my name is Cougar this has been another episode of the Amazon review series if you guys want to check this out on Amazon go ahead down there in the description below there will be a link down there and there's also those links to our social media sites sites um, don't forget to check those out as well if you guys have any questions or comments about this go ahead and leave those down there in the comment section down below and of course on your way down or on your way back up don't forget to hit that thumbs up button definitely appreciate that as well as if you haven't done it already there's going to be a little subscribe button that's going to be floating around the corner over here or you can hit the subscribe button down below the video and next to that one there is a little bell icon that bell icon when you click on it, it gives you the opportunity to set it up so that you can be informed of when new videos come out here on world of me Go ahead and set that up so that uh, you know when we've got uh, new products, new features, things with any of the series that we've got going on. All right, guys. Well, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.